me, trusted my fitness, and I had to take advantage of my speed. Um, and yeah, just try to hold on at the end. <laughs> now you've uh, won so many tournament meter titles. You've done the only sub 22 since you last did it at the Olympics. What made you decide to move up to the 400? It was a joint decision with my coach. You know, uh, he had been seeing how my training was go going on, and he. He trusted that I could do it, and you know, when he says something, I believe in it, and so I wanted to challenge myself. What's I'm, left for you in this sport? <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, I'm, I love it. I'm passionate about it. I thrive off the competition, and um, I love to win. You know, that's enough for me. That's enough of a challenge to keep going. But it keeps driving you to even when you have so many goals. Yeah, I'm. You know, that's to me. That's what being an athlete is about. You're never satisfied. There's always another goal to accomplish, and. That's me. <laughs> and for the Olympics, do you think a 200, 400 double is possible, maybe if the schedule is right? If the schedule is right and if I'm fit enough and body's feeling good, you know, it's something I would like to attempt, but I think it has to be one of those perfect storm type of things. And if you had to choose one of the Olympics, which one would you choose? You already know, 200. <laughs> <laughs> so if you were going to double, which one would you prefer? In an ideal world, which one would be first, which one would be second? Well, I think the 400 would have to be first just because I would have to have the legs to do it, um, but it's all about kind of knowing and then being able to train for it. What does this victory mean personally to you? It means a lot, you know, it's something that took me out of my comfort zone and uh, challenged me um, and uh, made me step up. You cheered the blast through the first 200 tonight. Was that the plan to try and get up on people and then maybe cruise it and then try and Yeah, I think the plan was really just to take advantage of my speed. You know, I'm a sprinter and so I wanted to bring that to the 400 and trust in my fitness coming home. Has there been much of a change in training with the kind of longer emphasis lately? Volume, yeah, but yes. still making sure that maintaining my speed. I think that's the challenge of it all is to be able to get all of it in. Yeah, and do you feel you're as fast as ever? Um, I, I'm sure my speed has suffered a little bit just because I haven't had that ballistic work in the 100 as well. Um, but I know it's there, so when I tap into it, um, it comes out. And you're getting killed even more in workouts with Bobby. Yeah, it's torture, man. <laughs> <laughs> but um, like he says, it pays off. <laughs> All right, thanks, thanks so much. Bye.